So I mean, we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do the guard retention, uh, and then we're going to do some light position training as well. Uh, and uh, we're going to have the conversation with them about uh, the mental, because I think that's most athletes, they lack of the mental aspect. And then we're going to help them tweak something here, tweak something there, because I believe in the week before the competition, we help the self-sabotaging, which is everybody thinks someone is better than them, and uh, we're going to make sure you plant uh, the belief of the, the seeds of, of belief on their minds. Like actors doing the leg drag, he's going across, and immediately I use the momentum. He takes right my foot off his hips. I use the momentum and deliver the outside foot on the hips. Everybody is a, uh, a student in here for sure. The, um, I, from, for one, am a, a guy with a job. I teach at uh, Florida State University and um, I'm able to train twice a day because of my job, but, uh, but coming here, it's an eye opener. As they say, there are black belts and there are black belts and Cabrinha is the best ever. So the, um, obviously the level of instruction and teaching is a lot different. So I'm gonna start with Hector. So I wanna I wanna do the pass with Hector, yeah. But then uh, I wanna make sure I frustrate Hector from in the beginning, okay? So I can't just go straight and pass his guard. He might have a good guard, and I can't pass his guard. And then Hector is going to plant the seeds of doubt in my mind. The real beauty of jiu-jitsu, unlike other sports where people are constantly hiding knowledge, there's a good will in jiu-jitsu where people share and teach each other. And they like even when you start, you tap hands. It's like a real celebration of, of the knowledge and the techniques. It, it's just, I love it, it's awesome. Shrimp trying to get better angle, okay? So when he does that, I'll follow him. He does that, I'll follow him. He does that, I'll follow him. Right, you can find me on that. There we go. And then if you notice that, I'm monitoring, right, the lasso, right? If Hector tries to do the lasso, I'm walking to the side, right? If Hector tries to get his leg under, I'm monitoring as well, okay? You kind of you kind of have to go into like that mindset, like Cobrino always says, always a white belt, um, you know, rolling with everybody, not being afraid just because someone's good or big or strong to, to roll with them, you know? Everybody's got to take their licks, uh, black belt or not, so. You know, if you keep that mindset, keeps training fresh, keeps it fun, keeps you learning. When you know the game, which is the idea is to plant the seeds of doubts on someone, someone's mind. How? Showing the person you know what you're doing with that. The person put the pressure, you deflect. The person goes to the side, you deflect to the other side. And then you touch the knee on the mat. The, the person is pushing one time, you let the person push you. Two times. The third time, you don't let anymore. Then you adjust your position and you're, you know that in fact your foot is free. You could pass anytime, but you don't want to pass. You want to continue to water it, right? The seeds you have been planting on his mind. I'm always open to learn from everybody, you know, and of course I try to learn from the best always. That's why I want to have them close to me, you know, but um, you, you have to be open to learn. You, you can't know everything, especially in martial arts. You know, there's a lot of things involved and it's impossible to know everything. So you always have to be open to learn. Fine, guys. Enjoy. You know what you're missing. Living legend. Five days. Get your butt kicked. It's okay. With a smile, though. No ego. Stay humble.